Hello, hello. Welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to keep it grungy today. We're going to get a little grungy. So you might want to grab some gloves. I don't mind getting grungy. I like that my fingers can get in there. I've never been a cared. I've never been one who cared about getting messy. When I say we're going to get grungy, we're going to use charcoal. And we're going to use graphite. And we're going to use our fingers to blend. And we're going to use brushes to brush and blend. And I have a big beefy one for like big areas, potentially. And then this one is a little more controlled. I got this actually in my sketch box. It's called a faux squirrel dagger. It's super floppy. I'm pretty sure this is, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. <clears throat> squirrel hair, like from the tail, is very soft. But it's very floppy and I thought it would be, <clears throat> personally, excuse me, <clears throat> uh, personally I prefer a firmer brush because I like, I don't know, just I, when I use it I want to be able to control a little bit more and this one has, you know, more of a give to it. But it would be really good for brushing um, charcoal and stuff to make, move it around so I thought I would grab it just in case so what I have here is my I have black and white general charcoal pencils you know my babies I have them all the time and then my new love is my peel and sketch charcoal generals pencil this is 5632T medium um, I love this one because it is super dark super super dark yes please and thank you and then I grabbed I wanted to grab some more smudgy darker graphites. I also have, I forgot to grab it, my um, Palomino Blackwing pencil. If you are not somebody who's familiar with black, you can see I love it. <laughs> A lot of them might look like this. Um, if somebody who's not familiar with black wings, their, their graphite is very dreamy and creamy. It is super rich in pigment and it's very smudgy. <clears throat> But it's, I don't know, the only thing I'm not crazy about is that I can't erase it 100%, which is why I constantly and most religiously use my Graph Gear 1000 0.3, because this one I can erase easily, no problem. Any, pretty much any other, which is why I don't really use any other kind of pencil, because you can't really erase it as well. And I, you know, especially for a long time, I go back to it all the time, but it haven't been because I've been so involved with my abstract and my color pieces and stuff. But um, for a long time, I did graphite work, just plain solid only graphite, and I use this to do everything um, because it erases. So unless I was done and I needed some darker, darker darks, then I could go in with some of these. Like I have my, this is, um, it's all alternative to graphite pencil, but these it's like a woodless one. It sounds like glass kind of, but it, it gets really dark too. The only thing too, one, I don't like graphite because this kind of graphite because it doesn't erase and two because it has a sheen to it and I'm not super crazy about the sheen uh, especially for someone who is either filming and because like when I'm drawing you guys and if I'm drawing a graphite especially uh, unless I pick it up I really can't see it because of all the lights that I have going on I can see parts of it but I can't see like it's hard for me to see high and low lights because the lights are hitting the sheen of the graphite so um, which is why I don't do a ton of graphite when I'm filming because it's just not fun for me <laughs> in terms of being able to see and do it correctly for you guys. So, um, but I digress. I want to include this because this is going to be a graphite um, charcoal piece. It's going to be a, how do I do that? It's Like I said, a grungy and it's going to be distressed piece and it's going to be simple, but not simple. Um, and you'll see, I found a new artist on, uh, let me look, I think his name is on Pinterest and his name is Ryan Price and this is some of his work. Now this, this person is fabulously talented at doing simplistic plus, um, create his super creative mind. So, um, I, I, I'll never reach that level, at least not without a lot, a lot of practice. But I was so drawn to it because I love the palette and I love that the simplicity of the faces, even though I'm a girl who loves, loves to draw the eyes and do the depth and create all of that um, moodiness in, in, the, in a portrait, especially around the eyes. So for me to draw back or pull back and do something like I can't guarantee I'm going to do it 100%, but it, I'm really drawn to the simplicity of the features and then the boldness of around, you know, and then it goes back away again, like here. So like super faded, simple, and then, um, then it gets really rich and then it kind of fades out. I love that so much. I love it. I love it. And I love the color palette. 
I'm not going to do all the colors. I'm just going to, I worked, I pulled my, what is it called? I pulled my uh, toned tan mixed media paper from Strathmore and I just taped it down to my board. <clears throat> I'm not using any wet mediums, but I thought if I, you know, with my charcoal, because I'll be doing some brushing and stuff, if it wants, I, I, I'm kind of cool. I would like to see what it looks like with a border if it, if it hits an edge here and there. I, I like that look. So this is the media or the substrate I'm going to use. And you can get this in 9x12 um, also. Yeah, you can get these in the 9x12. It doesn't only come in 11 by 14 So that's that. So, okay, back to what I've got here. I hope I didn't just mark my paper. So this is my Palomino Black Wing. Of, you can get these on Amazon. And then I introduced these either last week or the week before. These are <coughs> water-soluble graphite sticks. I will not be activating them with water, but they are very smudgy, which I wanted. I wanted the smudge. And then this one is um, General Pencil Company Kimberly number, I'm not sure, it's 525 and then N9XXB. Yay! <laughs> this one's also smudgy. And then I have, like I said, my art alternatives. I think this came in a scrap or in a sketch box. It's a graphite pencil 4B and it's woodless. Sounds a little bit like glass. And then I grabbed some dirty blending stumps. And I have both my Mono um, Zero Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. Little tiny tip on that. Little tiny tip for the little nooks and crannies. And this is my Tombow Mono uh, Tombow Mono Knock 3.8 Eraser. Both of these. It's a little bit thicker. And then like I said, I got my brushes. And then I just have my graph gear. And I grabbed this because this is my new friend whenever I work with charcoal and pastel. It's just one, it's not super great to breathe in. And two, it just makes a big old mess. So this has actually saved a lot. And it does a really good job. It picks it up super quick. And I can pick up any like for eraser dust as well as any pastel or char charcoal or whatever. So love this thing. Whoever, I cannot remember who introduced it to the group and I'm super sorry. I, for some reason, just have a mental block on the, I can see the post, but I can't see the name. So um, yeah, I'm also looking over here and I think I'm gonna grab, uh, I have my stick charcoal and a vine charcoal. We'll see, I may or may not use those may or may not um i think that's it again the person's name is ryan price i will you'll see i'll put some of these reference images in the description box beneath, beneath the video um thank you for being here please like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing click that bell so you get personal notifications also yay i have started my own patreon channel um i will include that link as well i would be honored if you would go and take a peek and see what i'm offering my patrons Super excited. Also, uh, I forgot to mention my Facebook page, Next Generation Art, over on Facebook. It's a private group. I have, now we have four weekly prompts. We just added another one. Um, four weekly prompts. And we have month-long, you know, year-long challenges. Once a month we do a challenge. It's, it's lots and lots and lots of stuff. And it's an awesome group. And we would love for you to join us. So all that information will be in the description box below. Okay, okay thank yeah. you so much for being here. Let's get started. <laughs>
Some of you might want to see the reveal, the tape reveal. I'll do one, just because um, that's one of the coolest parts. I'm gonna heat it up because sometimes the tape, my pro artist tape, is a little persnickety on the uh, Strathmore paper, especially if I left it on for longer than a day. So the trick is, pull slow. I heat it up and then I pull slow and I keep it super flat to the table as I pull. Get it off my board. Look at that, yes. This is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Very, very cool. Okay, you guys, thanks for being here. I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week. I also forgot to mention, because this was mostly charcoal, and I didn't use very much graphite, I just, yeah. Um, I'm gonna use my fixative, my Latour Sennelier fixative to spray it, and it works. I usually do two to three coats. It's not 100%, but it's pretty darn close, okay? Um, yeah, I use like, I usually do like two coats. Uh, I'll probably do three because it's pretty heavy charcoal right here just so it doesn't move but um, I get that question a lot like do you spray if it's just a little bit of pastel or charcoal I usually don't because I just handle it carefully it's not it usually doesn't have a problem but if it's pretty involved I will definitely spray unless I'm using pastel mat or like a sanded pastel paper which are meant for these mediums well, everything's, I mean, you can use them on all kinds of stuff, obviously, but they're built because they have a tooth to them. You don't usually have to spray those. They, it, you, you will get some removal, but it doesn't smear and all that. So um, you don't have to spray them. It's meant for these mediums, but this, because it's just uh, mixed media paper, gorgeous, glorious toned mixed media paper. I can't even tell you guys, I'm loving this so much, but I did use a lot, so I'm gonna spray it today, okay? The fixatives, uh, Latour Seignelier. Thank you. Bye.